Hi everyone. Thank you so much for appreciating my love towards astrology and uh, helping me grow, uh, helping me learn more uh, and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much uh, and I really appreciate all of you there. So today I wanted to talk about uh, Saturn's transit in the sign of Aquarius on the 17th of January 2023. Uh, what is a transit? So when, if, when you're born, the snapshot of the sky is your birth chart okay uh, so obviously planets don't stay in that position planets keep moving in different nakshatras in different uh, zodiac signs that is called a transit so uh, saturn is going to transit to aquarius his own sign his multicon sign saturn rules two signs capricorn where is he right now right now he's in capricorn and aquarius uh, which is uh, the 11th house according to Kalpurush Kundali, according to the standard Kalpurush Kundali. 10th house is uh, your career, okay? I have to make a video on 10th house. Right now we are on the 6th house series. 10th uh, house is your career. So Saturn is the ruler of your career and 11th house is the gain you get from your career. So Saturn is the ruler of your uh, career and the gains you get from your career. So Saturn is right now transiting in Capricorn will be transiting to Aquarius on the 17th of January 2023 at about 8 p.m. in the evening. His transit holds a very important, uh, uh, it's an important event in astrology because Saturn transits every two and a half years as he's the slowest moving planet in the zodiac belt. And uh, he's the karka of delays, obstruction, hard work, struggle, and uh, your career, your... Uh, your challenges, all your challenges, or your karma, the most important. Saturn is accumulated karma of past life. It could be 60, 70, 80 past lives, okay? Not last life. We, I, we don't know this soul has traveled from where and it's come here. So it is accumulated karma, okay? So yes, uh, Saturn is going to transit to Aquarius and uh, it is his own Mutrikon sign. Uh, Sare Sati is when Saturn transits 12 places from your moon. Whenever it, it impacts your moon, that is the 12th place from your moon, your moon and the second house. So one house behind your moon, your moon sign and one house further is how Sare Sati begins. So for example, if you're an Aquarius moon, your uh, Sare Sati starts when it's moon. Saturn is in Capricorn, one sign before. Then after two and a half years, it comes on your moon sign, okay, where, wherever your moon is, that is called the peak phase. And then the last phase is when he leads your moon and goes to the second house from your moon. So, yes, sir, Sagittarius can say goodbye to Sade Sati because on 17 January, all Sagittarian moons, uh, for, for them, Sade Sati is almost over. Uh, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces moon are people who will undergo Sade Sati. So Pisces are the new entrant to Sade Sati. And uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. And uh, a lot of people are excited celebrating Saturn transits because it is a rare event because it happens only after two and a half years. So yes, uh, I hope uh, all of you there are uh, blessed in the upcoming transit and uh, keep watching my videos. Thank you so much.